Well, how are we doing, everyone? Greg Scott Bailey here, and we're on episode five of Nexus Earth Adventures. This is my Minecraft edition of a a build of my comic book universe, at least as much as you can on Minecraft. <laughs> so, last we left off, we were building kind of a river lake kind of set up for the outside the village here um, I went ahead and decided I'll call it Fairhaven and if you watch the last few episodes I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted Fairview or Fairhaven so Fairhaven it is and so we'll pop up over the ridge you can see where I uh, built out most of the water started building a path going south and of course my OCD, I didn't want the dirt, flying dirt thing here, so I had to go up and get it. Um, one of the things that we're going to do in a couple episodes is we'll start working on the Jester's Tavern. Uh, that'll be right off to the left here. Um, I wanted to go ahead and like get the water covered as much as possible in this area build a lake and one of the things I didn't think about was there's like all these trees here so I don't know how the water affects trees I'll likely come back to it after um, see what happens to it but yeah for now I just kept working on the the unlimited water method which is water on one side water on the other grab it from the middle and it's unlimited and it's just really cool to see like the water flowing too so as I mentioned in the previous episode I'm probably gonna work on making some actual like rapids or moving water when I fine-tune this, I guess. Best way to describe it. And after a while, I started kind of liking the flow, how it was going down in here, too. Playing Minecraft has been a very calm and relaxing game to play. Once again, this one is a creeper or some other zombie doesn't sneak up on, on me and get me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, it's, it's been really nice. I got back from my trip to Arizona, still having tooth issues. Dentist says I need a, a root canal. Yay, me. And so right now, uh, I am not on any, uh, prescription medication. I'm on aspirin and ibuprofen. Still makes me kind of loopy. But if I'm sitting here, not able to get out, do much, in a lot of pain, give me a chance to go ahead and play the game and do this voiceover later. Now, after a while at this point, I did start realizing, like, okay, I'm getting distracted from my, my build from working on the road <laughs> so uh, we wrap up the water here in just a few moments but yeah if anybody's looking for uh, techniques on water this kind of shows some really fun ways to make it rapids and and calm and make a big lake and the fact that you could do it yourself without uh, uh, the cheat codes or the builder edition so, yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to building the road here and have fun with that. So, one quick thing to note between videos, I went ahead and made armor. 
with the uh, helmet, chest, and I believe feet. I didn't make the leggings. <laughs> uh, but this is going to help a little bit if I do get snuck up on by a zombie while I'm working. And yeah, once again, yeah, this is the little piece of the Jester's Tavern. Again, we'll build more later. So, I decided instead of going south, I probably should start working back north because that's where my original starting point was. I wanted to be able to go back to that spot. So, we started kind of clearing out a little bit of the area here, and pretty soon here we'll speed up. That way, you guys actually don't have to go through three hours of the game like I did. <laughs> it was a, a pretty relaxing afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> well, sun's getting low, <laughs> but we're not done. That's speed her on up and let's see what else we could do here okay so part of me clearing that up front there not front north is i also wanted to build a path to it instead of hopping over the water so i wanted to keep the water flow on the one side there so i decided to just you know push it a little bit more in and like i said this is sped up, so you don't have to endure how long it takes. Uh, but I decided if this is going to be a road, and I'm going to build tunnels, I'm going to make this all the way back to my starting point. It's going to have to be the same flat plane, at least to a point. I have no idea if I get back to my original starting point, if I'm going to make that meet up that way, but you know, I guess we'll just have to find out. <laughs> I don't know what it really is about this, but just so relaxing for me except for the squeaks <laughs> the squeaks was because there was a witch somewhere probably underneath me So here's where a little bit of my OCD comes into play because this wasn't dirt. I'm like, oh, I got to take it out and I got to put dirt in. And then I'm here in lava and behold, I could have fell right through and into lava. So thankfully I did not and got to dig out a little bit of, uh, looks like stone and andorite, I think. And then, of course, naturally, we come across coal. So I gotta dig the coal. And I've got to dig it until it's not there anymore. So my little OCD moment extends into this dig out this odd little side area. And I do this. I do this all the time. There's gonna be um, several. Uh, spots that I cut out of this video that are just that. I see coal, all of a sudden I start digging all out. There was one that led me on this tangent for 10, 15 minutes. Oh, it was great. Yeah, 
And, well, I realized what I was doing. So it's time to cover it up. <laughs> but once again, it's a reminder that right below this area, this village is probably a really massive cavern system. And we're going to get back to digging the tunnel here. After yet another OCD moment. <laughs> um, so this is what I'm going to dub mini tunnel number one. I did really scout ahead. I just assumed I could keep digging this until I eventually came out somewhere. And it, it did take a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> uh, but truth be told, it is not my longest tunnel yet in this game. Um, that's going to be on tomorrow's episode. <laughs> but yeah, it's something else, you know. There are times with this game where I could just keep digging tunnels. And I think what reminds me like that there's other things going on is that when I do, you know, bump into a zombie or spider or something. But as you can see, I, I brought the bed in here too. Because at this point, I can just sleep when needed. So, for whatever reason at this point, the audio cut out on the game recording. But, again, it works because I'm speeding everything up at 400%. So, the, the game volume isn't really needed for this. But, yeah, I finally dug in a dug in a dug. And I found my way through. <laughs> at least one part. And got to scope out where I'm at. See that I've got still a ways to go for building this whole road, but that's a pretty decent path already. Pretty fun to, to put all that through. So I went back and just kind of another OCD moment. Cleared out a little bit wider. I think four blocks wide by three blocks tall and then I found this that <laughs> the hillside is not as tall as I thought it was all the way across and so yeah well you can't can't win them all right but that's okay because we could just cover that sucker up and worry about it again at another time yeah. Actually, curious if any of you folks have any games that that make you calm and relax. Again, Overwatch tends to be a frustration game for me. I enjoy it; it's a good release. But Minecraft is. Very relaxing. And it's not just my voice being dulcet and and whatever. It's it it quite literally just relaxes me. And so uh, yeah, post in the comments below. Let me know your games. Uh, which ones make you rage? <laughs> which ones relax you? Naturally, I'd like to get more gaming videos, too, on this channel, but it takes time out of the day. I got stuff to draw, comic books to write. Oh, and there's that, that job thing I do that pays the bills. <laughs> and, and the sleep thing that helps me not, like, pass out somewhere important. <laughs> yeah, 
as I started digging in further here, started realizing, oh, I'm heading into a jungle. Dark, scary. And naturally, it's getting dark again outside. <laughs> and my bed's so far away. Um, cut out a little part here where I was doing some uh, fence work. Uh, but I decided, okay, it's finally time to cover this up. And you know the old saying, just put some dirt on it. <laughs> for the most part, everything I'm building for this is kind of faking it anyways. Doing a Minecraft version of my comic. It's not going to be 100%. But it gets the idea. Uh, so once I got that covered, started moving on a little bit more, uh, cutting up a little bit of this forest. As I started getting further, I started realizing, hmm, maybe I should scout ahead a little bit. So after I chopped up a little bit more, got a little bit cleared here. I went ahead and scouted forward, started kind of realizing where exactly I was going. And of course, there's a big mountain ahead, too. Uh, but we'll see that here in a moment. And this is the first time I got oak. No, not oak. Uh, yeah, can't remember. Not birch. Yeah, oak, birch, spruce. Yeah. Um, so I got the recipe for that. Yeah, it's just a massive tree. <laughs> wow. And naturally, like the road I want to build has to go right through this. This week on Modern Marvels. <laughs> And here's where we see a little bit ahead and be going over a, a river. So i to build a bridge at some point. But before we do that, we get some dirt, make a temporary bridge. And of course, naturally, I kept falling in the water. And so I used the tree to build more of the bridge. Just built right through it. Tore apart this mound. Got some more dirt. It's funny this octopus. Oh yeah, I found a little pit. Didn't go anywhere though. Uh, the octopus. I'm really surprised that they don't actually attack you. Like of all the things, if you're going to put that in there, I thought it would be another obstacle. Um, that it would be a water creature that would deter you from swimming. <laughs> uh, yeah, that took way too long. <laughs> All right. So we pushed on forward and started getting closer and closer to that mountain. What I built here was, uh, well, I laid down in bed, went to sleep. But what I built here was uh, another tempered little bridge road thing. And it's got a little zigzag around the water. And then poor little chicken kind of got stuck, so bye bye. <laughs> so, cool thing about doing this. And thinking about my comic while I do it, start brainstorming some stories, characters, ideas. Curious if anybody else does that. Playing Minecraft, playing other video games, RPGs. Do they help you kind of get creative and 
and build up ideas. You know, the hard part is is how much of it is original or how much of it is just a modification of the game or RPG that you're playing. In the end, it's it's cool if we can come up with stuff that uh, is ours, but sometimes influences do take over. And you can't help it when the inspiration comes. When inspiration is, I don't know. I want to make a really cool Jedi character. Well, that's Star Wars. Star Wars has a Jedi. Um, now, I want to make a really cool space wizard. Something like that. Then that that kind of leaves it a little bit more open i think but hopefully you guys get what i mean oddly enough at this point i actually started running out of dirt so i just took this moment to dig up some more <laughs> it's amazing how i i just get caught up in the moment Building this you know, random road. Don't even know if it's going the right way. Well, I know it's going the right north, south, east, west direction. But to, you know, to know if I'm going to be able to meet up at the right spot. Um, again, we'll see <laughs> tomorrow's episode. Just where things go. My the tone of my voice is a little preview of things to come. So yeah, there's the mountain. This is kind of a part of another mountain I'm on. I was trying to think. Okay, do I do I build out from there and then hopefully meet up? Well, it turned out the road's about six blocks up, and I built this thing out eight blocks up from the the shore here. That's me counting right there. <laughs> and yeah, so it it's not too huge of a deal. Once again, I'm speeding this up, so thank goodness you guys don't have to sit and endure the hours it took me to do all this. I found it kind of cool that I could use some of the trees there. The one thing this kind of gave me flashbacks to my childhood is having your Tonka trucks and having a big you know, mound of dirt to play in <laughs> and you're doing your own construction, building roads, all sorts of fun stuff like that. And doing this kind of takes me back to that that feeling that moment as a kid when I could build stuff in the mud and dirt I think what's going to be super cool about this as it progresses is a lot of this these won't be dirt later on it'll be stone wood bridges That'll be different villages set up later I gotta read up on how to get villagers elsewhere yeah it'd be nice again that's why I kind of do wish for a like a next generation game Minecraft same kind of build concept, slightly better graphics, not just the eight big blocks kind of look. And, you know, make it world building. You can pick what kind of, you know, 
NPCs, uh, good, bad, um, various different either races or creatures or whatnot. I think it'd be fun. Uh, but how much graphics and resources would it eat up? I don't know. I mean, our computers are all getting better and better. So I think we're we're ready to hit that next step. Be pretty cool. So I got the road all the way to the mountain. And next step is to build through the mountain. But you know what? I'm uh I took a look at this and I'm like, I think that's gonna happen next episode. <laughs> yeah. But hey, thanks for sitting through this one. It's good to be back to doing these. My trip to Arizona was real fun. We'll wrap up episode five here. And we'll see you tomorrow for episode six, uh, which I will title The Road So Far. <laughs> uh, thanks everybody for stopping by. And as always, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye. Mm,